China supplied Ukraine with tens of thousands of drones to strike Russia. Iran has sold Russia thousands of drones to bomb Ukrainian cities and another 6,000 drones are to be produced in the Alabuga Special Economic Zone under an Iranian license. Meanwhile, Ukraine buys drones in much larger quantities to shell the enemy's frontline positions from another partner of Russia, China. Ukraine has found ways to get tens of thousands of drones as well as to establish a flow of spare parts for them from China, reports the Wall Street Journal. Purchases of finished products, primarily from SZ DJI Technology, are carried out in stores and from suppliers. In addition, Chinese components are used in drones of their own production, which is growing rapidly. According to Georgi Chakaya, the defense advisor to the Ukrainian Ministry of Digital Transformation, over the past year and a half, the number of drone manufacturers in the country has grown from seven to almost 300. Hundreds of thousands of simple, cheap devices that can carry explosives are produced in an artisanal and industrial way. Every month, the armed forces of Ukraine use about 10,000 drones on the battlefield. DJI told the Wall Street Journal that it tries to limit the use of its products for military purposes but cannot control their use after purchase. The US ban on the use of DJI drones from the military as well as Chinese components in the production of their own drones was one of the reasons why US-made drones are too expensive. Although the US tried to supply Ukraine, many American commercial drones cost tens of thousands of dollars more than Chinese models. In Ukraine, we would like to test and use more American drones, but we are still looking for more cost-effective solutions, Deputy Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine, Georgi Dubinsky, told. In addition, every drone software update requires Pentagon approval. However, the situation on the battlefield is changing so quickly that programmers and engineers have to constantly make adjustments to their models. What flies today can't fly tomorrow, Dubinsky says. We need to adapt quickly to emerging technologies. The innovation cycle in this war is very short. For the first time, Ukraine destroyed Russian Ka-27 helicopter in Crimea. A Russian Ka-27 helicopter has been shot down in occupied Crimea, Dmitro Pletenchuk, spokesman for Ukraine's navy, has reported. A Russian Ka-27 down in Crimea. It was looking for something. It has found it he said. The spokesperson provided no further information including the type of weapon used to down the helicopter. According to reports from the Crimean Wind Telegram channel, a sound resembling a rocket launch was heard in Sevastopol on April the 10th, followed by a muffled explosion reminiscent of those observed during air defense operations. According to other reports from the helicopter pilot Telegram channel, it could be a friendly fire that brought down the Russian helicopter. The Ka-27 is a Soviet-era naval multifunctional helicopter designed to perform naval anti-submarine defense tasks. It is deployed on ships of various classes. It can detect modern submarines and surface targets, transmit data about them to shipboard and shore stations, and attack them with onboard weapons. Russia's helicopters have been a target of Ukraine's efforts, but Kyiv more frequently reports Russian jet and fixed-wing aircraft losses. Long time, no sea destroyed Russian helicopters. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry said, Ka-27 helicopters stationed at the Kacha Air Base in the Bakhtisarai district of Crimea are used by the Russian Black Sea Fleet to track Ukrainian naval drones and landing craft. Since the start of the large-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia has reportedly lost 325 rotary wing aircraft in the conflict. However, the destruction of the Ka-27 helicopter was not mentioned during the morning briefing by the chief of the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces. Although the nature of what brought down the Ka-27 is not known, several sources agree that it was indeed neutralized. However, official confirmation or evidence is still pending, so this is a developing story.